Um, so I think we're going to open the field for a D3D conversation. If it's a short conversation, we can go back to our cheerful chatting, and that's all fine. Don't, don't feel like you have to force it. The floor is yours. Um, yeah. So the best case was actually um, to see if there's anyone that had any dark D or D. Loud! Speak loud! Shh! <laughs> I guess we kind of mostly covered that in the last half already. And if there's anyone who actually still has well, questions. What, what's the basic status of D3D10? Where, where is it? Challenges in 10 that are introduced in 10? Or does it just work? Um, for the most part, it's just work. The rest are hard parts. That's fair. Cool. You don't have to just the moment. There are some things like uh, geometry shaders. And 11, though, is a relatively modest jump from 10. Is that right? Yeah, certainly compared to the jump from 9 to 10. has the concept of a thing divide. Individual command div devices you can dispatch commands to is that yes. it was once read, right? so would be similar to the way open shell multi threading works. Um, no I think actually. It's different so actually it's more like the command stream part. So we would probably have one command screen running per device uh, it's not device child what are those interfaces called? There is the basic device that can create textures, and then there is the device something that. Yeah, something like a device context or something. Yeah, device context, that's it. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> no, no, I'm not done with you yet. <laughs> so, is it is it all you, or is there any parts that may be broken out? What do you use for testing? Only the GILX example applications or a game or something else to see what's to implement next or where the failures are for GILX 10? Uh, mostly the various codes are possible. Most code samples and demos. Yeah, code samples. Do you know how many games are currently running that claim to be in? Godzilla, there is basically a list of the games it duplicates, and there are some meta bugs that they basically tell about direct extended. <coughs> and there are a lot of major games, I think, or the names, the big names. The new Battlefields and Call of Duties. Well, yeah, I mean, name it. But like Tomb Raider. So uh, the, the newer games uh, do not have this DirectX 9 profile any. For some games you could force it, DirectX 9 profile, but the newer games sometimes don't have this option anymore. Oh sure, so there are plenty of games that support both 9 and 10. And it's, mm -hmm. which they usually run because they use the 9 renderer. Games that have a Direct 3D9 uh, backend in case Direct 3D10 is not supported. How many games do you have the ability to run on this 3D9? I don't know exactly, but at least until like a year or two years ago, this would be most of them. Um, these days with Windows 7, it, uh, 11, there are a few more that are 11 only. There's a Wikipedia article about DirectX and all the games, and I think there's not more than 10 games still. 
and most of them are so you know, it's really 11 we care about. There are games that are coming out of the D3D11. Yeah, but there's no power. So it's not that much It's going to get more of the next year or so. I think users are mostly trying out for Battlefield 4. I saw an article, most um, running engines, free software, switch from DirectX 9 for XP uh, directly to DirectX 11 for Windows 7. So they skipped DirectX 10 and have no special rendering option for DirectX 10 devices. So either DirectX 9 or DirectX 11. So Transition from 10 to 11 would be as hard as from 9 to 10? No. No, that's good. <laughs> What's the difference between 10 and 11? Um, well, there are some extra things like uh, some extra data stages. Uh, some things got re arranged. Like, uh, I was definitely mentioned that it's split between the device and the device context. But it's not a major change like between 9 and 10 where you essentially have a different um, model for how you do rendering. So when DirectX 10 is working for uh, Unique in Heaven, the example, a month later it works also for DirectX 11? Someone might be somewhat optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But once we have 10, there will be plenty of bugs to fix. Yes, I think so. And once those bugs are fixed, then... I would say to the audience at large that this, if there are any wine and gaming related questions, we have all of the best wine game developers in the room. So feel free to ask any wine game related question. Although maybe you're this specific. Like if you want Battlefield 4, forget it. <laughs> it's always interesting to see visually the progress of something. So I think a year or two ago you said that you managed to draw a triangle with DirectX 10. Is there something visually different that you managed to get out from it now? Um, or it's still just a triangle? <laughs> no, I don't have anything that I can show you. experience is that well, working flawlessly out of the box maybe 50% especially if it's not a completely high-end game um, and then there are about 40% of the so 40% you can make work to some extent with some hacking and it may be slow or have some rendering bugs or render with low produced quality on it and then there are 10% of games that just that you won't get working without major working line. And the new games are more likely to work no direct problems. Anything else? Games! Games helps! Ask questions! Alright, let's resume our... You're off the hook, <laughs>